Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a bow mount for the larger newer style transducers for your boat. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is my trolling motor that I have on there right now and it's got one of the forward skegs and you can see laying that transducer on there with the bracket it's just not going to work. I mean I guess I could have ground off the skeg, but then if I ever wanted to upgrade, uh, the value of this trolling motor wouldn't be worth much. So you can see why I wanted to do this project. These are the main parts you're going to need for this project. The shaft is going to be made from a one inch in diameter EMT conduit tube, which is about one and one eighth inch in the outer diameter, which is similar to a standard trolling motor. And speaking of that, you have the one and one eighth inch standard transom mount trolling motor mount there, along with two one inch PVC threaded caps. And then of course you have your transducer with the mounting bracket. As I stated earlier, this is just a standard transom mount for a trolling motor and this is where the EMT conduit is going to go through. Now in this you have your tightening screw here on the side but inside of this mounting area in here are these two little thin like washers used to pick up the gap that there is with a regular size trolling motor. And since I said this shaft is a little bit larger, you need to remove these two. And it can be done by just taking them, because they're already cut. You can just press them out like that, and they pop out. There's one on the top and one on the bottom. And that will allow the conduit to spin freely. And this is what they look like. So you can just pop them out. And then you'll have this tensioning screw here. And you have to be careful not to lose this piece because that's what's going to put the compression on the shaft of the conduit tube in order to hold it in place. This is how I made the slot for both end caps on the EMT tube. First, what I did was approximately one half inch from the edge, I drew a circle. And that's where I'm going to go through with a drill bit only on one side and drill a hole so I'll get that nice radius bottom part of the slot. Then I trace these lines here. And what I'm going to do with these is just go ahead and cut it out with a hacksaw blade. And so that's going to give me my nice slot that I have for both the end caps. This is one of the one inch diameter threaded PVC caps that I'll be using in this. And actually this is going to be the one used in my final project. I've only got the two left that I'm actually going to use because I went through so many of them trying to figure out how to make this work. So anyways, you want to make sure that you get the one with the interior threads in here because that's going to make it fit a lot tighter on top of the conduit tube. Now in order to make the slot on either end of the EMT tube, I use the same measurements from the slot I made in the cap and then just transferred them onto this and the other end of the tube. And I made my circle again here, which I went through with a drill bit. And then these lines I cut out with a hacksaw. And when you do that, this is what you come up with. Your other slot, which is going to correspond to the cap sliding over the end so your cable for your transducer can come out. Now there's something important that I want to reiterate when you're doing all this. Every time you drill into this EMT pipe or cut your slots or even the edges that are here, 
you need to take a file and file everything down smooth because you don't want this transducer cable rubbing up against sharp edges so it can actually cut or fray sometime later down the road. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is figure out how I'm going to mount the stock transducer bracket to the EMT tubing. So the first thing I did was, on the end that I want to mount it to, I slid this end of the transducer cord up through this EMT pipe. And there's enough room inside for it to slide very easily. Then I put the cap on that's going to go on this end of the tube. And then this is the bracket that you're going to attach to this tube. That's why you want to dry fit all this first. And then once you figure out how it's going to sit, you're going to drill a hole all the way through both sides of the pipe so you can run your bolt through on either side and attach this to the pipe. The last thing I'm going to do before I assemble everything is paint it. So before I do that, I'm going to clean up the EMT tubing and bolt these pieces of PVC using MEK or acetone. And what that'll do is remove all the grease off the tubing or any dirt. And it also removes the sheen film that's on these PVC pieces and it makes it easier for the paint to stick. While I was assembling the bracket for the transducer onto the EMT tube, I decided that I wanted to make it a little bit more stable instead of just using the center bolt through here. So what I did was I got this, which is a rigid one inch in diameter pipe bracket. And once I set it around the pipe like this, I decided to drill the hole through here for the center and then a hole on either side of it here. And then I ran those two bolts through the bracket just to make it a more solid and stable mount. And then what I also did, there was these little edges that stuck out just a little bit. I just crimped them over the side. So this is a real solid connection. So this is the finished project. I made the shaft 60 inches because it's going on a larger boat. But obviously it can be adjusted for smaller boats or even for use on a kayak. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.